Hey guys, welcome to this video on amortization calculations, the third one in our series. Uh, and so the, the variables that we're going to be using apart from the TBM variables um, are amortization payment one or the first payment, when the first payment starts and the when the last payment is made, your balance, your principal and your interest. So remember that you still need to put your TVM values into your calculator. This was covered in videos one and two um, in the series. So please go take a look if you're unsure of what I mean by that. Then of course, you need to use the AMRT button or AMORT button to access the amortization calculations. Remember that you need to set ordinary annuity on your calculator and not BGN. Remember that it won't work when you are looking at annuities starting at the beginning or payments made at the beginning of the month. For amortization calculations, it always ends. It always calculates from the end of the month. Right, and my favorite rule, <laughs> remember to press second function mode before you begin using your calculator um, to clear away any old values that may confuse your new answer. Right, so our first um, example is about calculating mortgage payments and generating an amortization schedule. So you'll see that we're going to set up our TVN values, and I'll do this now with you on the calculator. Right, so we've cleared away all the old data, and we're going to put in our TVN um, values now. So we're going to say second function IY for our PY, or payments per year, and we're going to put in 12 and enter. Um, again, you can go back and check the compounding intervals. Right, <clears throat> then we press on. Then it's 20-year loans. We're going to say 20. And then second function N to multiply 20 by the number of payments. And then we're going to store that into our N value. Our loan was for 90,000 Rand. We'll put that into our present value. And of course, we want to pay off the loan. So that will be a future value of zero. Our interest rate is 5.45%, which is amazing. So we'll press that, IY. And then, of course, we'll calculate our monthly payments. So we'll comp payments. And we'll see that it's just 616 Rand per month. Once we've set up our TVM values, we're going to generate an amortization schedule. Okay, for the first five years of the loan, if our first payment is in August, the first year has five period payment periods. So, so if you think about it, August, I'm counting on my fingers if you want to join me here, August, September, October, November, December is five payments, right? And then, of course, every year following that is 12 payments because they are 12 months. So we're going to start our payment to payment one, and at the end of the year, we'll have payment five. And then we can see what the balance of our loan is, what we paid in principal, and what we paid in interest. Okay. Right. So from this payment value, we're going to do an amortization calculation. So we're going to press AMRT. Our first payment we're going to make is one. So we'll say one enter. And the last payment of the year is payment five. So we'll press down and go to payment two put in five and press enter. And then if we continue to scroll down, you can see that the balance of the loan is 88,951. We paid off an amount of 1,048 Rand in principal, and we paid 2,034 Rand in interest. So from there, we will look at year two. And so to look at the year twos, balance, principal, and interest, our first payment of year two will be the sixth payment that we've made. Uh, and then December will be the 17th payment that we've made. And then we can look at our balance, principal, and interest. So let's look at that now again on the calculator. So scrolling back down, you'll see Amort payment one again, and we'll just put in six for the January payment and enter. Press down and put in 17 and enter. And then if again, we scroll down, we'll again see our balance is at 86,000. We paid a principal of 2,615 Rand off, but we also paid 4,783 Rand in interest. Then we have um, our third year. And what's really nice here is that you can actually calculate our third year by just pressing the comp button. So let's look at it again on our calculator now. Right, so scrolling back down, 
we again are just going to press comp this time and that will automatically calculate where we should be at payment one and if you scroll down you'll see it has already done it for payment two as well for the end of the year and we'll continue down we've now got a balance of 83,000 Rand um, we've paid off principal of 2,700 and we've paid interest of 4,637 Rand great Again, let's clear away that second function mode or clear away the old TBM values we had in our previous example to make space for our new information in our second example. So our second example says, finding the balance of a loan after a certain number of payments. So you take out a 30-year loan for 1,500,000 Rand. Your annual interest rate is 8.5%. If you decide after you've made your 48th payment that you want to make a balloon payment, what is your monthly payments and what is the balloon payments? So again, we're going to set up our TBM values. Right, and we'll do that now on the calculator. All right, so let's set our TVM values. So the first thing we're going to do is press second function and IY to do our payments per year. And we're going to set it as 12 and press enter. Then we clear this away. You can check your compounding intervals by pressing down. We covered this in video one and two. Then we're going to press on to clear that. The next step is 30 years. So we're going to say 30 second function end times by the number of payments per year and then we're going to store that into n our present value is 1,500,000 and we'll put that into present value and our future value is zero aiming to get rid of the loan right our interest rate is 8.5 percent and we'll just press uh, y now the next thing that we need to do is to calculate our payments. We're going to say compute payments, and that gives us 11,533 Rand and 70 cents on a monthly basis. Then we're going to set up our amortization schedule. So here, again, we're going to start with our first payment that was made, our 48th payment, which is four years later, and then we'll look at our balance, our principal, and our interest. From this, uh, you can see that we paid a lot of interest and not much in principle. And so our balloon payments is actually 1.4. Let's do it now on the calculator together. Right, so we've got our monthly payments. And what we're going to do now is press amort. And our first payment is 1. So we can just leave it, but we'll press 1 and enter. And... Uh, Payment two is the 48th payment, so we'll press 48 and enter. And then if we press down, you'll see exactly the same values as we saw before. So the balance or the balloon payment that we would need to pay on this 30-year loan is 1,448,266 Rand. Um, we paid off the principal amount of 51,000 Rand, which is pretty low. And uh, the interest that we paid was 501,883 Rand. So that's quite staggering. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you found this video helpful. And remember to join us for our next video, which will cover discounted cash flow analysis. So scrolling back down, you'll see Amort payment one again. And we'll just put in six for the January payments and enter press down and put in 17 and enter. And then if again, we scroll down, we'll again see our balance is at 86,000. We paid a principal of 2,615 Rand off, but we also paid 4,783 Rand in interest. Right, so scrolling back down, we again are just going to press comp this time and that will automatically calculate where we should be at payment one and if you scroll down you'll see it has already done it for payment two as well for the end of the year and we'll continue down we've now got a balance of 83,000 Rand um, we've paid off principal of 2,700 and we've paid interest of 4,637 Rand great